Dr. Nichols Terminal. That's who just had that, uh, that holotape. Laboratory notes. All right, so these go from uh, October all the way through February. Today's my first day at the, at the NIRA site. I'm going to call it Nero from here on out. And frankly, I'm quite nervous. According to the committee members that offered me the job, I'll be the youngest PhD in ionospheric physics at the facility. I'm eager to show everyone I can handle any task they throw my way, regardless of its complexity. I have a meeting scheduled for noon today with the site supervisor, Dr. Dial Oha. Hopefully he'll recognize my scholastic accomplishments and assign me to something challenging. The feeling it's gonna turn ugly. It's Thanksgiving day and, and instead of spending time in Iowa with my folks, decided to stick it out at the facility to finish up the first round of my project. Dr. Oha's current project focuses on data sonification filtering, removing unnecessary background noise that the NERA array picks up from various stellar phenomena such as plasma waves, planetary radio emissions, and particles striking our planet's magnetosphere. It's actually quite noisy up there in space. My particular job is to classify each individual sound and then create a filter so it can be removed from the array's desired frequency range. I'm almost done with my first quadrant, then I'll head home. All right, that sounds pretty interesting, actually. I don't know if it's just stress or the long hours, but lately I've been suffering from intermittent headaches. Oh, this is what she talked about on the tape. I tried to mitigate the pain with over-the-counter meds, but they proved to be ineffective. After chattering with my coworkers, I've discovered a few of them suffer the same issue. I think I'll visit to the site's medical doctor and see what she has to say. For now, I need to move on to quadrant three of my project. I can't let something as trivial as headache scuttle my work for Dr. Oha. All right, so she was, that's obviously here, Thanksgiving is when she was first starting this project, and here's a couple months later. So it's just four days later. Happy report that the site doctor seemed to know exactly what was causing my headaches. Apparently, the equipment at the site generates an ex excess of electromagnetic radiation. Thanks to dielectric heating, the EM field around here is cooking my brain. Oh, I was hearing noises. I thought someone was coming around. Cooking my brain at a very minor level, not enough to cause damage, but painful nonetheless. The doctor issued me a shielded lab hood to wear which might make me look as ridiculous as the others I've seen wearing them. But at least I can get back to work. Sorry about that. Sometimes, for whatever reason, I don't know what it is. When I start reading, I sometimes I get tired and I start yawning. It's the weirdest thing. When I, when I start reading, I'll start yawning. It's very crazy. All right, but it is scary. It's cooking her brain, but at a minor level, not enough to cause anything too painful. <laughs> All right, that was a big yawn, so there we go. Hopefully that's, hopefully that's out of my system. Sorry about that. All right, and then this was a little over a month afterwards. It's funny, I've been hard at work on the fifth quadrant up for my project, but I can't help being distracted by the whole headache, EM, field debacle I suffered. I spent the last month or so juggling the original project with funding, with finding out why this array is giving off such a huge EM field. According to my investigation, the nearest shouldn't be outputting so much electromagnetic energy. It's almost as, as if they aren't using it in a narrow band as expected, but trying to cover a huge area at all, a huge area at all once. I'm not sure what all this means, but it certainly piqued my interest. Well, it means they don't know what they're doing, I'm guessing. Or they're trying to do something they shouldn't be doing. Oh, I missed this one. Yeah, I don't know what it is with me and the reading and getting tired thing and needing to yawn. It's been a thing for a long time and I, I don't know what it is. Alright. Let's head on out of here. 
So now, oh, plastic. All right, now we're gonna head back to, oh, is this another computer? I thought for a second there, it looked like that was on. All right. Oh, the sun is out and bright. All right, so we need to head, was it, we're heading back to the top of the world. North and west. We're already headed north. See, so yeah, that'll just be right back up the way we came, which I know is that way. up through here it's the place that I thought might be a good place to, for a camp although I don't want the Yaguais well I guess that technically we did end up bringing the camp didn't we so it's already here um, let's stem pack up Yeah, we'll keep it there. So this is another... Well, actually... No, yeah, we'll go this way. Let's see what's up here. So I wonder if we could have put that on either one of these. Or if it had to be that one that was down at the bottom. Does this have one of those panels? Oh. Come on. I know you're not going to stay scared forever. Oh, destroyed that guy. All right, we got more meat. No, see, it does not have a panel. So yeah, that would have been the only one. Some more wild carrot. I'm kind of scared that I'm not going to be able to get back up. Nah, maybe. Dude, I might still bring my move my camp. What is that? Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> I thought that was something. I'm still thinking about bringing, moving my camp up here. Especially if you can clear out some of this brush. The only problem is it's kind of the middle of nowhere. Is, that's not still from that nuke, is it? I think it might be. Yeah, the only problem is, like I said, it's out in the middle of nowhere. I, don't know, I guess everywhere technically is out in the middle of nowhere, right? Well, our camp's here, so if, so if we need it, or if we choose to do so. What sound do you think they use for this? Oh, that didn't do it. Usually it has a kind of a rubberish sound to it. Nope. 
do not want to be doing all of that. There we go. We need to be heading more north. Got a little sidetracked there. Let's see what this one do it. Yeah. What sound effect do you think they use for that? Oh no. Alright, I need to be heading more north still, I think. I hate fighting bugs. See the top of is that the the train yard we were at? Yeah, it is. All right, that's the train yard. There's the top of the world. Too far north, or too far west. Just out enough north. Dude, I can't believe that's still that nuke fallout. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I do remember there are a lot of bugs up here. Oh, and that reminds me. We have a level up to take. Um... Armor weighs 25% less than normal. That's pretty good. Oh, I think I'm going to take that. I know I probably should have looked through all the others. Uh, but I didn't. Oh, we're thirsty and hungry. I feel like I should be having more juices. Did I really go through all the juice? I must have. All right, so these bugs, what are we going to do about these bugs? All right, what do we have? 
Oh, of course. Good thing I moved. Wow, it's a good thing I moved. Dude needs to stay still. No more throwables. Oh man, this this might not go well. Did someone shoot me from over there also? I mean, I, I can't see them in the full in the trees. Why did we not see these guys last time? That is the top of the world, right? We're here. Yeah. And there's a station up there. Did they go? Oh. Seriously, how am I missing? Where did you go? Serpentine. That's oh, not going to work. He's still coming out. Oh, is he hurt? Is he limping? He might be limping. Yeah, he's limping. Which is awesome. Oh, how did I miss? Dude, I seem to be missing like everything right now. Eat up. Give you HP? Oh yeah, it does. What do you give me back? Stim pack, beautiful. Uh, how's that chat? That nah. What do I have for here? Uh, 19. That's something. I can't believe I, I didn't. I didn't realize I ran back this far. That's pretty far.
What level is he? Oh, he's only a 10. Um, but I don't have, I don't really have a good angle on him. Oh. Whoa. Did he take out his own guy? It certainly looked like he did. Oh, what are you doing? Who are you with? Dude, it looked like we we hit the one guy. The second guy came up with a huge hammer of some sort. It looked like a barrel on the end of a stick. And almost as if saying... You, uh... <laughs> almost as, as if saying you, uh are not doing us proud, I'm taking you out. Nope, not what I wanted. There we go. That was crazy, man. Oh, this used to be a raider spot. Loot you? No. This used to be a raider spot. A wooden ski. Plastic? Do they have any benches around here? Single action revolver. Uh, it's not as good as my 44 that I currently have. It's a lot of Molotovs. Wow, that, where'd they get all these safes from? Oh, a crossbow bolt. I do not have a crossbow. Like an odd place for a lot of safes. Alright, so I do not remember exactly, but I want to say um, my first original playthrough. This might be where I, about the area of where I stopped. Now, having said that, I got here not on doing the Overseer's mission. I was working on all that stuff, but I did not come up here because of that. I just came up here just roaming. Because um, that last mission we did, that we just did, I never did any of that. So that's why I say, I, but I do remember getting to about, the, about here. I never went into the, up there. So this is getting becoming uncharted territory. I think I did get an area around it, like up in here. 
but I did not actually go. I assume you go inside there. I don't know. But I did not go inside of the top of the world. Of course. Turns out to be a good spot for a punji board. <laughs> Doesn't look like it would be. Oh, this is that station. Oh, so is this a safe place? Boiled water. Now that I learned that how much health you can get from the Nuka, the Nuka Colas, I'm all about that. Uh, I don't think I want the, uh, I don't know what, what good that might be. Purified water. If there is a chemistry station in there, we'll be able to make some Molotovs, I believe. Plastic spoons. Cooking station, so is this. So it looks like they actually were using this as a uh, kind of like a central hub for some people. Uh, let's see what we can cook. Some juices, that's good. And I'm getting some big time lag on these button hits. Luckily, it's not happening during combat, it's just crafting and stuff. All right, what kind of bench do we have here? Scrap, all right, armor, yes, we do need armor. So that, that's actually better than chemistry. Well, I better prioritize first. Do I need this right leg? Uh, this 511. Maybe that's better. But. No, so we're going to scrap that. All right, now let's get the rest. You know what, let's first, let's take a look at this. Um, I have all these notes. It sucks that you, can, uh, you cannot sell these. I mean, I guess if I started my own vending machine, I can. Plans. Yeah, I want with that marine wetsuit. That's interesting. Thinking about hollow tapes. No, we've we've done all that. So, all right. So I'm gonna stash these for now because I think we can sell those later on. But who knows if anybody's gonna actually want those? Um, stash snacks. I cannot use it yet. 
The scoped hardened, so that does 50 damage. So does that. Uh, 20481. It's actually one slightly better. Level 5. Level 5. But this gives 50%. Yeah, alright. So we're gonna, we're act, I'm actually going to try and sell that to this guy. So we'll do that. That looks good. I don't think... I mean, these things... Well, I guess it does weigh a little bit. I just don't like having it on me. We're going to keep the maps. Store all junk. And store the ammo we do not need. 